We are in the 23rd day of the Sfira, our counting. 23, if you put the digits together, 2 and 3 will give you 5. We know that there are 5 Chasadim and 5 Gvorot. Chasadim, kindness and uh, charitable acts, but we're going to focus today on the 5 Gvorot. Gvura is judgment, is din, severity, but also is restriction or contracting, limiting. Now, we want to focus a lot on how to refine ourselves. And in order for me to refine myself, I need to know when to press on the brakes. Because most of the times, the, I, I cross lines. That's all of us. Now, yesterday I explained that there's good midot and there's bad midot. The midah is called attribute or characteristics. Let's focus on the word in Hebrew, midah. Midah in Hebrew is also a measurement. Measurement is, can be big, small, medium, kilometer, a, a meter, whatever it is. The reason why it's called a midah, measurement, because with any attribute that you have, you have control how much of it you apply, both to the good and to the bad. So if I am very charitable, Baal uh, Chesed, then it has to be with some type of restriction. If not, I'm all day long going to write check him, che uh, checks. And that's, uh, you know, that, that, that won't be good. Where do you see how Chesed and Gvura, kindness and judgment will come into effect? is a, you have a flower, you want to water the flower. And by you watering the flower, you're doing an act of kindness. You're giving water, you're giving life, you're nourishing the flower, the tree, whatever it is. But when does the, that's chesed, giving. But when does the gvura come in? Is stopping the water. Because if I'm not going to stop the water, I'm going to kill the little flower. If I'm going to flood it with water. So the, the gvura, the restriction, is stopping me for how much water do I give? How much cheshed do I give? This will work both for the positive and for the negative. I just need to know, I call it, when to press the brakes. It's very easy to break the uh, press the gas. <laughs> you go flying. But you also need to know when to press the brakes. When it comes for me to refine my characteristics, my midot, then yesterday I told you to make a list with the good ones and the bad ones. We're not going to now go and start analyzing that. I want to more focus on, I need to know when to pull the reins. When I'm letting go and when I'm holding back. Both for the good and for the bad. If I don't know how to do it, I will never be able to control myself. I will never be able to refine myself because I don't have control over my impulses, over my thoughts, my actions, my speech, and my behavior. Therefore, I need to know how to measure the midot. I know it doesn't sound good in English, but I need to know how to apply the measurement. How much am I uh, applying here? A lot, a little. How much am I restricting? And how much am I getting out? So when it comes to tikkuna midot, in order for me to focus on what I need to do, First, of course, I need to recognize where am I too much and to know to restrict it. If I'm uh, too kind uh, and so forth. And it also will be in a negative way. I can be judgmental. You know, judgmental can uh, be used in a very positive way. I'm going into a business transaction. I need to be judgmental. Is that a good partner? Is this a good uh, business deal? But I have to be knowing how to restrict it. And I'm not going to give now example for every midah that we have because all the midot that Hashem gave us are essentially good. Uh, the problem is that many of them used to be bad because one can ask, why did Hashem create anger? It, wouldn't it be better if there wouldn't be anger? Then I would never get upset. But Hashem created anger so I can be angry at the Yetzirah when He bothers me. The same way that you get angry at somebody, get angry at the Yetzirah. And Hashem uh, gave me the midah of jealousy. What's good with jealousy? Not, there's nothing good about it. So our sages say, 
קנאת סופרים תרבה חוכמה. When you jealous of a great sage, of a great תלמיד חכם, then it will cause you to try to be like him. And uh, you can go like this for every bad midah. Why Hashem created it? Why? Because to apply it into something positive. Today I don't want you necessarily to, to focus on how you apply it to something positive. Because by the way, you can apply good midot to something negative. How is that? Now let's say a terrorist comes and he starts shooting. And you jump on him. Put him down to the ground. What do you do with him? Do you take him to the hospital and treat him nice because he has some wounds? After all, you are full of kindness and love. Let's take him to the hospital and uh, give him a uh, nice treatment. Or maybe like the Israeli government, put him in a five-star hotel for 10 years where he can mass get a master's, an MBA. He has internet. It's not a five-star hotel. It's more like a four-and-a-half-star hotel. But he's getting a prize for stabbing somebody or killing people. He's getting, a, a, in sponsorship of the Israeli government, a five-star hotel for 10, 20 years. That's too much. That's where you get kindness. This is not where you apply kindness. The guy just came to kill you. You chop him to pieces. You don't give him any, any treatment here. That's a terrorist. You don't apply chesed on somebody who comes to, to kill you. So you can see that also good midot can be applied in a completely wrong way. It's almost like a person comes to, breaks into your house and you're telling him with a code to the safe. The guy just broke into your house. So the point we want to uh, uh, not only apply, of course we want to apply everything, is to get to some type of a system that I know how to put a measurement on every attribute. And that can only be done with the gvurot, with, uh, with the, the, the midah of gvura. And again, th don't take now the analogy of chesed and gvura, when to put the restrictions. Rather, I need to know when I need to limit something. It can be also a, a very large amount, but it's still limited. The only thing that is not limited is the Kadosh Baruch Hu. Everything else is limited. Even if you take all the numbers in the world, they take now a gazillion, trezillion, whatever, it's still limited. It's still a certain amount of numbers. So the point what I need to take is how am I applying restriction to my good midot and to my bad midot? How do I uh, control it? You can uh, give an analogy like controlling the reins of a horse. When do you let go so the horse can go uh, fast a little bit when you're pulling back? The same thing you can uh, apply to uh, when you're opening a valve. Uh, a valve, valve, how do you say, valve, valve? Valve. Valve, the opening, how much uh, water will come out? You put too much, it will be destructive. You put a little bit, it's not gonna be, not gonna be any benefit. So now, what you need to start uh, uh, developing, and that you have to develop by yourself, nobody can help you with that, is that you recognize the midah. Now, how much of it am I applying here? How much patience? How much love? How much anger? How much impatience? How much judgmental jealousy and so forth? Because in some cases, you have to put a little bit of spices. You have to put a little bit of, uh, uh, of even of the negative media. You know that a lot of the, the cures or medicines that uh, apply in medicine are poisons. But if it's done in a very small amount, then it actually helps. How do you uh, uh, cure a person that got bitten by a snake? You need to take the venom of the snake and inject it into the, into the individual that got bitten by the snake. So in many times in medicine, not exactly, of course. The yeah, but not, I'm just giving the idea, not starting into the technical and the Homeopathy. biological Homeopathy. part here. Homeopathy. Like a homeopathy, yeah, Home homeopathy. But the point is that sometimes you need some of the negative in order to do good. Here, the, the exercise is how much of what? Because I can also apply anger when I want to educate my kids. And the Shulchan Aruch even says, you have to apply anger uh, pretending, like uh, raising the voice and pretending you're very upset to raise the kids, that you have some fear. You have to know how to put them in the right place. But you need to know how much of that you need to apply, not to start Chaz starting uh, to hit the kids. 
Has v'shalom. You need to know how, how to restrict yourself. Bottom line, you got the point. You need to figure out a system what type of ruler you're using to measure the, the attributes and how to apply it. Is it easy? Very hard, because you need to know, this now comes the question, how much do I put of that? So for now, I'm going to leave you with the enigma to figure it out by yourself. Later on, we'll go to some classes when you know how to apply what and when. For now, just come to the recognition and to the understanding that everything that you do has to be with control. And if you know how to master this, then for that our sages said, Ezu agibor hakoveshet itzro. Who's a hero or a, a, not a hero, gibor is more like a, a mighty person. I would try to say it in a different word. Gibor is, uh, comes from gvura. That's why it uses the name gibor. Gibor is brave or a mighty person or like a warrior. But uh, it comes from the Gibura. That's why it uses the name Gibor. Who, who is a person who Gibor, who knows to, to apply Gibura? HaKoveshet Yitzro. They know to overpower his desire, both for the good and the bad. So we need to be, become this Gibor, that I know how to apply the Gibura in the right way. The Gibura, I look at it always as a valve. How much you're opening, how much you're closing. You, you know, in Hebrew, there's a better word um, uh, to that. It's called Vasat. Vasat, how would you say Vasat? Vasat is the regulator. Okay, I, I like that. Regulator. Vasat is how much you put into each side. In the why? To bring to a perfect balance. Now, if there's only good, you'll never have a perfect balance. You'll be tilting too much to the good. Has to have some bad or negative. Why? To bring you to a balance. Now, you just need to know how to apply the good and the bad. I'm calling it good and bad. Essentially everything is good. Of course, when it goes out of control, it's negative and bad. The whole point, if you want to narrow it down to, to uh, uh, one term, is balance, izun. We need to know how to le'azen et amidot. When you balance, you're straight, you're not tilting to any of the sides. And then of course, it's much easier because when you balance, you're focused. When you're focused, you're Productive. When you're productive, you hit the target. And when you hit the target, you fulfill your mission in this world. <laughs>